Welcome to Dependable Flame, where we explore vintage petrol lighters, ashtrays, tobacchiana, and other useful mechanisms. Make yourself at home. Today we have what some might call an other useful mechanism. I think you can rightly call these lighters. They are a crude lighter, but a lighter nonetheless. I have heard Tom O'Key advocate that matches should be considered lighters, so I'm sure that he would agree. But if you wanted to call it an other useful mechanism, or as it is labeled on the bottom, permanent match then I think you would be right to do that as well I think this one has broken off its keychain I also don't believe that these are all that terribly old these are marked a little bit differently there are several examples on eBay and several of them were listed as 1970s that might be true I was a wee baby in the 70s at least at the beginning of them I wasn't lighting cigarettes or combusting matches this one is marked permanent match then patent long patent number and then Mitsugiri manufacturing limited so I saw several of them on eBay that were marked Japan but none of these are actually marked Japan. They do appear new, like probably never been used. At least these two that still have the keychain attached. So I thought we would go ahead and fill this up, the one that is damaged anyway. Not an incredible value on any of these. Like I said, not too terribly old. Also, I don't think we necessarily need to fill that up. The wand will reach at least two thirds of the way down. So if we can just get a little bit of fuel on the bottom for demonstration purposes, that should be good enough. But I would also be interested, and I might just try to carry one of these around with me just to see. It looks like a nice closed tank system. That however much fuel it will hold, it doesn't look like it would evaporate much of it off. So that's something to keep in mind. If you are of a mind to try to use one of these. We can get our Ronson all. Definitely try not to overfill it. Wipe that up. Insert our wand back in. You know, your lighter wick runs off of fumes, or is designed to run off of fumes. I don't know if these are necessarily designed to run off of fumes so much as a wet wick. I guess we will see.
Strike three. Okay. Fair enough. Our friend Giovanni Abasia is the one who would always remind me not to blow a wick out, but to snuff it. You're going to damage the wick if you blow it out. It's hard to say. Definitely looks like some of the wick material on the end of this striker has charred. I'm not going to come right out and say it burned up. Maybe I should have paid more attention before I lit it exactly how long those were. So that will be interesting to see how long you might be able to use one of these wands before that wick material needs to be replaced. So it's taken a few efforts to light each time. Pretty cool, even though it would, as I said, be a very rudimentary lighter. Not uh, setting any new standards or you know, a Beatty jet lighter is a machine that is very old, was designed back in the 1930s, I believe. And when folks discover it today, they're still fascinated. I wouldn't put the permanent match in the same category. I wouldn't put it anywhere near the same category. But it's still a cool, valid way for you to light your lighter or light your cigarette or whatever it is that you are trying to combust. And try not to burn your fingers in the meantime. So two of these were marked the same, permanent match, registered patents. And then the other one we already talked about, Mitsugiri. They all still have their strikers. And the two that still have a keychain attached have some sort of scenes depicted on a sort of a screen printed decal, it feels like. Feels like it's on there fairly solid. But, you know, even though these are oldish. And sort of cool. They're also made out of plastic. So, not the kind of thing that I get too terribly excited about. But I am a little more on the side of mechanisms, semi automatic and automatic mechanisms that seem clever. Some folks like the more basic stuff, though. Until next time.